Lo más que me hagas un close de algo aquí sentado.
Good evening, parents, students, and staff. Welcome to our Juan M. Seguin Elementary 6th grade award ceremony 2022-2023. I am Julissa Melchor, counselor at Juan M. Seguin Elementary. Buenas tardes, familiares, estudiantes y profesorado. Queremos darles la bienvenida a la ceremonia de certificados de Juan M. Seguin para nuestros estudiantes de sexto grado. Please rise for the presentation of colors presented by the CC Wing Air Force JROTC. At this time, we will have the Pledge of Allegiance led by Enrique Gonzalez Fuentes. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now the salute to the Texas flag by Jose Pedraza. Mm -hmm. Honor the Texas flag, I pledge allegiance to the Texas one state under God, one indivisible. Thank you, you may be seated. Se pueden sentar. At this time, I would like to present our principal at Juan and Seguin Elementary, Mrs. Veronica Rodriguez. Before we begin our, our 2023 sixth grade ceremony, on behalf of the Juan and Seguin staff, we would like to dedicate our ceremony to Principal Ms. Blanca E. Muskis, who passed away in November. This ceremony is dedicated in her honor of her memory and her life's work as an educator, administrator, and our friend. So let's give her a round of applause in her memory. Good evening, parents, family members, friends, staff, and our sixth grade graduates. What an accomplishment. Sixth grade students, you have gone through pre-K, kinder classes, passed through first through sixth grades, and now you are here, sitting on this stage, being honored for reaching one of many life's milestones, your sixth grade graduation. Your teachers, Ms. Izquierdo, Mr. Rodriguez, and all, of, and all the other teachers and staff that have helped you to come up to this moment are very proud of you. I am very proud of you. You did it. You are here. Enjoy your moment. <laughs> you have done so much growing, learning, and maturing throughout your six years at Once Again. You should feel very proud of what you have accomplished so far. This is the first of many accomplishments that will be coming up in your future. The only way you receive those accomplishments is through your hard work and dedication. Always set goals for yourself. Ne never let anyone or anything hold you back. 
Always face your obstacles with courage and never give up. Surround yourself with positive people and have your family as your support system. Ask questions. If you don't know, ask. Never assume. These are just a few words of advice to help you face your challenges, your fears, and your obstacles. Sixth grade students, you can make anything happen as long as you work hard to reach your goals. A los padres de familia, gracias por el apoyo que nos ha brindado a nuestra profesoría. Fue un placer de servirles como su directora y muchas felicidades. Sus hijos no cumplieron este logro solos. Su apoyo y el amor de madre y de padre llegaron a este momento juntos. Esta ceremonia se comparte con ustedes. Sus hijos lograron de cumplir seis años o más de carrera escolar. Todavía les falta más que cumplir, pero con su apoyo y con su amor, sus hijos van a cumplir muchos más. Muchas felicidades. Sixth grade graduates, when you meet with your families after the ceremony, give them a huge hug and a thank you because you and your families made, made it to this point together. Give your families a big round of applause. I would like to now introduce one of our guest speakers this evening, Ms. Megan Rodriguez. She attended Robert E. Lee Elementary, now Juan Nancy Guina Elementary. She was a student at Lee at all six years. During her time, she was very involved. She was a UIL member, student council member, a Starlet dance team member, and was the captain of the dance team. Megan made six years of honor roll and was the recipient of the presidential award. Megan then moved on to Memorial Junior High where she continued to accomplish her goals as a National Junior Honor Society member. A member of the Stunners Dance Team, two-year honor roll, and recipient of the Presidential Award at Memorial. Megan continued to uh, study more goals and accomplishments at C.C. Wynn High School where she is currently the member of the National Honor Society, Guiding Angels, Phi Theta Kappa member from Southwest Texas Junior College, Silver Dance Team member, GeoForce member. Megan will be graduating this year as a top 5% graduate ranked number 23 in her class. Megan plans to attend the University of Texas at Austin where she will major in fine arts with a focus in dance. It is my proud honor to introduce to you my daughter, Megan Rodriguez. Good evening, faculty, staff, family, and Juan and Seguin graduates. First of all, congratulations on your milestone. This is a huge accomplishment in your academic career and the first of many accomplishments. As you make the transition from elementary school to middle school, you will take on new responsibilities, new opportunities, and new challenges. Middle school is where you start to realize where you like, what you like to do, and start figuring out what you are as a person. So try new things, try out for a new sport, join clubs, step out of your comfort zone. I have been given the honor and privilege to be part of CC Wins National Honor Society, senior line leader of the Silver Line Dance Team, ranked 23 of the top 5% of my graduating class, and a member of Phi Theta Kappa at Southwest Junior College. From these opportunities, I have learned how to be a leader, be responsible, and have dedication to my education. I was able to step out of my comfort zone, and because of this, I was able to open doors for myself and experience so much during my time at CC Win. These opportunities can help propel you into the right direction of your life and help you decide what you want to do for your future. Opportunities come and go, but seize your moment and see what fits you the best. You never know what doors might open for yourself. You have made it this far in your education. Why not push yourself even more now? So join a sports team, join a club, join in something that will make you happy and excited to go to school and learn. Graduates, I urge you to step out of your comfort zone and push yourself to the best of your abilities. Strive to, strive to want to learn more and to go beyond in your lives to make this a world a better one. 
I will leave you with this quote by Neil Donald Walsh. Life begins at the end of your comfort zone. Thank you and congratulations to class of 2023. Thank you, Megan, our top 5% from CC Wayne, and good luck to you on your future endeavors. We will now begin our award ceremony. We will start with sixth grade teacher, Mr. Henry Rodriguez. Andrea C. Guentello, one to three time perfect attendance and sixth grade completion. Next, we have Jose J. Flores Soria with most improved award and six year certificate of completion.
Victoria E. Yanas with Citizenship Award, Most Improved Award, and Six-Year Certificate of Completion. Israel Martinez with one to three times perfect attendance, basketball medal, and six year certificate of completion. Jesus Medina with basketball medal and six year certificate of completion. Jose A. Mujica Garcia, one to three times perfect attendance and sixth grade certificate of completion. Principal's Award, 
high school form recognition and six year certificate of completion. Gali Ramirez Braga with one, two, three times perfect attendance, citizenship medal, UIO, and sixth grade certificate of completion. Jayla Ramirez with high key point recognition and six year certificate of completion. <laughs> Carla A. Ramos with softball medal High school form recognition and sixth grade certificate of completion. Sandra J. Rodriguez Gonzalez with six year certificate of completion. Dominica Villarreal with one, two, three times perfect attendance, all year honor roll, 
DT, UIO, Student Council, Savo Medal, Dance Team Medal, High Key Point Recognition, and 6th Grade Certificate of Completion. We conclude with Mr. Rodriguez Clap and give a round of applause. Great job. Next, we go on with sixth grade classroom, Mrs. Izquierdo. First, we have Sophie A. Barahona with all year perfect attendance, volleyball medal, dance medal, high school poem recognition, six year certificate of completion, and Maverick County Junior Livestock Show Participation Award. Next we have Luis M. Bermea with six year certificate of completion. Gabriel J. Duron with high school point recognition and sixth grade certificate of completion. with basketball medal, high school point recognition, and sixth grade certificate of completion. Fatima S. Espino Ramirez with one, two, three times perfect attendance, most improved in the math and math, most improved award, high school point recognition, and sixth grade certificate of completion. Edgar R. Esquivel with 6th grade certificate of completion.
Next, we have MAES Flores with one, two, three times on a row, volleyball medal, high performance recognition, and sixth grade certificate of completion. Next, Jacqueline A. Garcia with all year perfect attendance, one to three times on a row, UIL, top AR reader, volleyball medal, softball medal, and sixth grade certificate of completion.
have Christian I. Medina Jimenez with UIL, most improved in ice station, basketball medal, most improved award, high perform recognition, and sixth grade certificate of completion.
Next we have Lina K. Williams with Principal's Award and High School Point Recognition and Sixth Grade Certificate of Completion.
and Derek Rodriguez, Silver Presidential Award. The picture with all the reasons. Let's give a round of applause to our silver presidential award recipient. Congratulations to you. Next we have the Gold Presidential Award from Mr. Rodriguez's class. We have Carlos F. Elizondo Martinez. Let's give a round of applause. Dominica Villarreal, Gold Presidential Award.
These are students that had honor roll all six, all six years throughout the whole elementary. From Mrs. Izquierdo's class, we have Sofia V. Rodriguez, all six year on a row. Sofia V. Rodriguez. And Cassidy Suniga, also sits here on the wall. Thank you. And now we want to present some awards to the students, and that is with Officer Boteo. And we have Officer Boteo, please come up. education classes. He did an awesome job with our students and we just want to recognize him here and we also want him to give our students our certificate. So. <laughs> Mr. Rodriguez class we have Andrea Cibuenteo. We're going to do it at the class. Uh, Emmanuel Carrion. Carlos F. Elizondo Martinez, Jose J. Flores Soria, Carlos F. Elizondo Martinez. Jose J. Flores Soria. Daniel Garcia Mendoza. Kayla A. Gonzalez. <laughs> Alexis A. Guerrero. Victoria E. Yana. Anabeli J. Martinez.
Israel Martínez. Ulises Martínez. Jesús Medina. José E. Mujica García. Sheila Ramírez. Carla A. Ramos.
Edgar R. Esquivel. Edgar R. Esquivel. Emily F. Flores. Jacqueline A. Garcia. Daniela J. Gómez. Enrique Y. González Fuentes. José E. Hernández Arellano. Regina M. Jiménez Esparza. Ari O. López Alarcón. Isaac G. Martínez. Christian I. Medina Jimenez. Adriana Miranda. Adriana Miranda. Laila Guay Ramírez Fraga. Lionel Río. Bárbara Rodríguez. Jared Rodríguez. Sofía B. Rodríguez.
Joshua A. Kagan. Nina K. Williams. Thank you, thank you, Officer Rodeo. Thank you so much. Thank you. And now we will go on. Oh, we have one more. Cassidy Zuniga, Officer Rodeo. Thank you so much, Officer Botel. Now we have a certificate for our coach that he coached our volleyball girls division three and our softball girls division three. And this is Coach Rigoberto Garcia. If you can please come up. It is very important that we have the participation of parent volunteers to be coaches. And I want to thank him for always doing that for us, being a coach for our girls. We also had coach Moises Rocha, but he couldn't be with us today. But we also want to thank him for coaching our basketball board. Before we conclude our ceremony, we want to invite our special guest speaker for tonight. He is a student named Adam Melchor. He is an exception, he's got exceptional talent. I have seen him work tirelessly to achieve all his goals. He attained honor roll for all his 12 years in, in school. He is the president of the Marin County Junior Livestock Show Club and Council. NHS member and vice president of the senior class of 2023 at Eagle Pass High School. He is a three-year letterman captain of his UIL Pros and Poetry team and a manager and homecoming representative for the Eagle Pass High School da Diamond Dance Team. He served as a spirit ambassador and a guiding angel and participated in various other clubs. He is ranked 11 with a GPA of 108.64 and was selected top 5% at Eagle Pass High School. He will be attending college at UT at Austin in the Red McComb School of Business to obtain his PhD in International Business Finance. He hopes to be able to use his skills and knowledge to be a true leader in his field and bring about positive change in the world. I am proud to, proud to call this young man my son, Adan Melchor. Dear parents, family, friends, faculty, and the sixth grade class of 2023, You have done it. You have completed six years of elementary. You just need six more to go. <laughs> Today marks a special day in your lives as you leave behind your elementary school years and move on to the next chapter of your life, your middle school career. I am completely honored today to share my knowledge as a senior graduating Eagle Pass High School as ranking 11. I have a few reminders as you go through six more years of education. 
First of all, I want to acknowledge all the work you did. If you are standing here today, you have mastered your studies over the past few years. Yesterday may feel like the first day of first grade, where you were nervous, scared, anxious about what six years in this school had in store for you. And now you are, now here you are. Here you stand, ready to take on the world and all of the challenges that it has. But before you do, I want you to take a moment to acknowledge the journey that has led you to this point. I want you to celebrate the moments of victory, the moments of joy, and yes, even the moments of struggles and pain that have shaped you into the young person you are today. As you move on to the next chapter in your life, I want you to hold on to those memories that you have made here at Juan N. Seguin Elementary. Remember the friends that you have made, the teachers who have inspired you, and the lessons that you have learned. And most importantly, remember that you are not alone. As a senior, I urge you to get involved. Always have an open mind. Don't, do not be afraid to ask for help. And always remember to have fun. I sat in that very seat six years ago, a nervous child with much to know. But on that day, I left without a sound, with nothing to remember, nothing profound. Now, I wish I'd hear these words so true. It's okay not to have all the answers to. To not know, to not understand, to not have it all figured out firsthand. At 11, 12, or 13, we're just beginning to grow. And with each day, we learn and we sow. So long as we strive to better ourselves each and every day, we're on the right track, no need to swim away. And how Dory once said, just keep swimming. Congratulations on the sixth grade class of 2023, Kwan Nsikin Elementary Longhorns. Book them and good night. Thank you, and good luck on your future endeavors. I love you. At this time, we want to give thanks to our staff from Juan and Seguin for helping us tonight. We want to give special thanks, thanks to our coach, Francisco Lin, who's helping us in the back. Thank you, coach. Our secretary, Claudia de la Serra. Our clerk, Nora Vargas, over here in the back. Our librarian, Adriana Urtiaga, thank you for helping us. Our star, Maidra Garcia. Our special ed aide, Roy Vidal. Our teacher aide, Maria Adrejo. Thank you for everyone who came together to help us out. Boys and girls, remember the quote on the back of this program? It says, behind you, all your memories, before you, all your dreams, around you, all who love you, and within you, all 